Why did you marry your husband or wife? Unless you married for money, I bet it was because you knew that they would meet all your emotional needs and complete you. That's why most of us got married. So what is the likelihood that your spouse will meet all your emotional needs? Zero. Because they married you for the same reason. They expect you to meet all their emotional needs. And it's not going to happen because you can't. You are both drawing from empty wells. And that leads to frustration, conflict, and bitterness. So why is this problem so common? Well, you need to understand the stages of emotional development. God designed humans with an enormous need for His unconditional love if they're going to be emotionally healthy. This agape love can only come from God. It was God's original plan that parents would have such a close relationship with Him that He would pour His unconditional love into them so they would have a surplus to give to the kids to meet their needs. But when Adam fell, he cut himself off from that flow of love. As a result, we are all born separated from God and disconnected from His love, but we still need it and we're searching for it. In childhood, your mother is the primary nurturer. She pours into you what love she has to make you feel loved and valuable. But in your teens, it's your father's responsibility to show you unconditional love. His role is to bless, affirm, encourage, and tell you who you are so you're ready to enter adulthood. The problem is, your father can only do that if his father poured unconditional love into him. Well, that unfortunately is very rare. So most of us enter adulthood having never received the necessary unconditional love and encouragement that we need to be confident adults. So as adults, we start looking to find that missing love that will meet all of our emotional needs. And we assume there's a person out there who will give us all this love. And when we think we found that perfect person, we marry them, expected them to provide all the unconditional love that we were missing from our parents. This is a recipe for disaster because they can't do it. The result is conflict. If your spouse won't meet your emotional needs voluntarily, then you switch to plan B and try to force them to do it by using control and manipulation techniques. And that leads to more conflict. So we need to face it. No human can ever meet your need for God's unconditional love. So how do we fix this? You need to discover God's love for you by going directly to the source, God Himself. He's the only one who can fill your unconditional love requirement. You need to let Jesus be the perfect parent you never had. Become so close to Jesus that He continuously fills you with His unconditional love. He wants you to know that you are His beloved son or daughter. He can't wait to give you all the love that you missed. He's waiting right now for your permission to pour His love into you. And as He fills you with His unconditional love, you no longer have to try to grasp it from your spouse. The closer each of you get to God, the closer you will get to each other. Let God fill you with His love so you have an overflow for your spouse and family. That's the kind of marriage God wants for you.